Hey, I uh, wanted to do a quick video today um, about uh, something that we all face, and uh, it's news burnout. And that's a that especially goes for the last, you know, three and a half, let's just say four years. Um, you know, when I do these videos, guys, I just want you to know that I'm, you know, like, more than half the time I'm not well and one of the reasons is that it's it's I'm doing this while I'm eating so that that's why I'm like the, the way I am right now but I just felt a need to explain uh, I'll get to the story um, when uh, when we had to get you know when the virus came right and we had to get the shots and stuff like that there was a lot of pressure where I am in, in Canada and uh, so I got mine uh, after you know trying to hold it off for a number of months and um, I had an allergic reaction I had like a, a rash all over my chest all over my neck I woke up in the early morning uh, with so much pain I couldn't breathe that's why I woke up and um, I had so much abdominal pain I was literally holding onto my counter for a number of days. I didn't go to the hospital until like six or seven days. Anyways, it was the Moderna shot and I'm, I'm quite sure it did something to my heart, but it likely healed. I never got it imaged. And uh, so the, like the way you see, like, you know, you see the intensity of the pain in my face. It's my gallbladder. I ended up with, uh, with uh, what they say is a rare gallbladder disorder. It's like one in 300,000 in men. It's about eight times more common in women. So it's like, it's one in 30,000 with women. It's about one in 280,000 in men. And so it happened. So when I press in my gallbladder, especially when I eat, I get gallbladder attacks and, and uh, I can't even push it in. And so I'm in a place where I already have a surgical scar in my abdomen. And... Uh, um, and because of that surgical scar years ago, it did a lot of complications on the inside. And so uh, this, I, I say rare gallbladders because it is, uh, but they, the doctors I come across don't tend to know much about it and they don't know what to do. And they're like, you know, well, well, you're a low weight. We don't think you, maybe you should take it out. And it's a nightmare. It's called hyper gallbladder disorder. And it's like the feeling of having uh, pancreatic cancer. Not all the time, episodic, but just like in general, I can't even, I can't touch my gallbladder. It's like having a gallstone. So that's what I'm like when I'm, when I'm doing these videos, just so you know. And the only way to stop it is to have it out. And uh, so like, I'm worried, like I, I know a doctor in Canada who, who might do it, but I'm afraid of the complications because because of something that happened years ago, years ago. So let's get into this um, news burnout, and this is important. Um, I don't like talking about my health, but you know when I'm in videos and I'm not well, I don't like not explaining what's happening. Pardon me a sec. Um, this should pertain to every single one of you, and. I think it is, um, this is about control, this is about uh, how controlled you are with what's going on in the world, pardon me a sec. If I could get my gallbladder out and it would stop, because that is the only cure to this, and this gone, I would be feeling a lot better. There's a reason I don't make these videos while I eat, but I just felt like I had to do it. If you've had a gallbladder attack, say something in the comment section because then you know this this is permanent gallbladder attack. Okay, so if you're anything like me while working in my home or wherever you are, I tend to distract myself 
with music, unless it's something that requires no sound for concentration. Uh, oh yeah, I bought a, a new computer by the way, so I can make videos like when I sit down, um, like one that you'll see. It's, it's good for video editing. I had to buy a new computer. As the world around us changed so quickly and I was um, coincidental, so I was learning the Bible before everything happened, but not by much. Um, and what I mean is like the virus, excuse me, uh, and Ukraine. I wandered into many Christian YouTube channels, like the Watchman channels, and just the news itself. When the Ukraine war happened, I was almost glued to like, you know, to like YouTube, the news and the Watchman channels, desperately waiting for the signs of Jesus Christ's return, which is understandable, right? Prophetic signs were occurring multiple times per day, and to be honest, it hasn't stopped, and we know it won't. Um, I know and understand that we're in the final stages, however long that may be. So don't be like, you know, oh, you know, like, it's not going to be that long. Hey, listen, it could be five years, so I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be a person to give a date. I think that's irresponsible to do. You know it is. It's stupid to do that. You're giving false hope to people. Um... So if you see any dates, I would skip them because it's, it's just wrong. Nobody knows the day and the hour, and that verse is very simple to understand. And I know what you're going to say. You're going to say, uh, but we know the season. And yes, we do know the season, but season can be 10 years, right? A season could be, it's just the season. Remember how long, uh, you know, a, a day to us is like a thousand years to, to Christ, right? To God. So many signs, one after the other. When I'm about to leave my home now, compared to before, I usually, like, I'll, I'll turn on, like, uh, I don't know, maybe some type of news channel to do with, to do with Christian, right? Because they tend to give a lot of good news, up to date. So I might listen to, say, as I'm heading out the door, like, five minutes of it, and when I come back, I'll do the same. There were some, some of the news stories sometimes were so intense, like uh, thousands of people dead at once. Let's just say like the Turkey earthquake, right? It turned out to be like, what, 60,000 or more dead? I don't know, was it 80,000? I know it was 50 at first, but, uh, you know, like battleships blown up, whole tank columns destroyed. Um, this is stuff you'd see in World War II. And, uh, and, you know, it was just like everyday news. And what it did was it made me addicted for more stories. And it's the same in respect to Facebook. Remember I talked to you before about the dopamine hit? When you get a like on Facebook or something like that, when you get a like on YouTube, uh, the equivalent of getting that, when you see that, when you're the person who does a post, when you're the person who does a YouTube thing and you see a like, that's the equivalent of snorting cocaine, which I believe in units is 400, however that is measured. Um, that's, that's why you get addicted, pardon me. I'm dealing with a, a gallbladder disorder that just isn't seen in practice. Well, I got something called a HIDA scan, and I had to sit on a table for two hours without moving at all, or, or it fails. And uh, the radiologist didn't even know what it was, and I had to question him. I got I diagnosed myself because I looked it up, and uh, and I confronted him, and then he said, "Yes, you're right," and they in uh, where I live in Canada, here in Ottawa. They, uh, they made my case an example. For the next, you know, just in case a radiologist ever sees that number again. It was called ejection fraction. Not of your heart, of your gallbladder, and it was at 
which is very high. Some of these Watchmen channels do three videos per day. It's like a suspense thriller when you're on the edge of your seat waiting to see what happens next. This is most unhealthy and worrisome, and especially, you know, when I talk about gallbladder attacks and, and illness and, and uh, you know, and also mental illness too, you know. How is that going to help you? A scripture comes to mind, and, uh, and now by removing social media like Facebook, and so I've probably removed 90% of the news that I was listening to. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do something in a second, too. You just wait. Excuse me. I now understand, and only when I pulled away, only when I pulled these things away did I understand. Um, if something bad hits my city or my country uh, or North America, so be it. It's the Lord's will. But if not, I don't want to worry about it. The Lord said in, Re uh, I said Revelation, but it's Matthew actually, not to be troubled at hearing of wars and rumors of wars. Just let it go and do your life the way you regularly would. What do you get out of it? What do you get out of it by doing that? You get, you know, you're building an intensity and, and you know, you may end up with an anxiety disorder. We're supposed to have a calm mind and uh, subjecting ourselves daily to horrific news stories won't help us in our journey. It won't help us. What do you think if Christ was here w with us right now? And all these news stories, what do you think he would say? He wouldn't tell us to be paying attention to them all and keep all of our attention. He'd tell us to read scripture and, and keep doing our lives. I found myself each day with multiple top news stories that each of those, let's just say one news story uh, that started happening, uh, let's just say after Ukraine, that's when they came in like a flood, uh, like just total prophecy. Um, just one of these stories that happens daily and now multiple times per day would, four years ago, it would be the top story for, for at least six months. Like, let's just say a volcano that is blown, right? And how many volcanoes are have erupted now? Like a good eruption with like a lot of ash, um, and the one in the ocean too, add that to it. There's probably been like 15 of them. And there's so many others that are just active. Let me take a sip of water here. I want my gallbladder out badly. I'd be, I'd be, I'd be doing so much better. Um, you know, I deal with the episodes and stuff like that. And generally, like when I'm at my best, I cannot put my finger. I won't put my hand in there. It's that bad. I just have to learn to live with it. I visit my dad's often enough, and I would bring some of these stories to mind. So I go, you know, I go over there and uh, uh, only to aggravate maybe him, maybe my brothers or whoever it was I was talking to. So I just like learned to keep it to my to myself, you know, unless it was like a really really big story. <laughs> let's just let's be honest. There's a lot of them. <clears throat> yes, we we absolutely need to know some of the news stories, but not to the detriment detriment of our mental health and others. You know what I thought? Can you imagine since the virus, but especially, you know, things got really bad, inflation, all this and that, um, after, uh, you know, when the Ukraine war started. And by the way, I just wanted to fit this in. You know, you hear about oil prices going up all the time. I just want you to understand this. You know where fluctuations come from? Like, let's just say before everything that's happening now, like, let's just say before four years ago and now too. It's driven by them telling us that, you know, one day we're going to have no oil. That's a lie. Okay, I just want you to know that. The earth is constantly 
making oil, we will never, ever, ever run out of oil. I don't care what you say. I know that's, I know that's the truth. They will never run out of oil. Let's just take my country, Canada. We're the third top uh, oil. We have the most proven reserves and we haven't even touched anything in the Arctic. And there's a lot there. Um, Canada alone could fuel the entire world for decades. And I, I just know, you know, by God, God is the one who just, you know, there's a process going on. It's just God. <laughs> They never go down to the end of, you know, they never, they never suck these things dry. There will always be oil. I think, I think it's a reprobated, uh, it's not a reprobated idea, but what they're doing and try to move so quickly into um, electric is, you know, without any proper guidance is stupidity. It, it's dumb. And, uh, and they're trying to do it while other countries like China and, and India are making, you know, a coal plant every week. You know, it's just dumb. And, and people under people, some people do know that. And the pe people who are doing this know it. Anyways. Um, if I didn't take this approach by pulling away social media and taking the news away till you know maybe a news story i'll look at the ticker they tend to be at the top news stories right um or just flip it on for a little bit um if i didn't do these things i wouldn't understand and either will you you will not and that's why i'm making this video you can get better ignore these stories listen to them at the end of the night do it after you're done the things you have to do. What if someone you knew died and you got news about it? Imagine that happening multiple times per day. How is that any different? I know it's, you know, but it's kind of the same. So what do I do now? I may hit the ticker on the bottom of the screen for news, but I tend to keep it uh, towards the end of the night. How do you expect to excel in, in your life? God told us not to be troubled and I understand um, but then the question is, how could we not be troubled, right? I remember John MacArthur saying that. But hey, he's assuring us, and I'm going to read it too. Um, don't be part of this uh, kind of beast, with, which is social media. I ask you, I dare you to take away social media. I dare you to stop using Facebook. I don't mean talking like, you know, family and having you know, the ease of, of doing it. But those are the types of things that pull you in. Here's the truth. We weren't meant to be this way, okay? And this is one of the reasons why things have gotten here and why they're going to end. Social media was never meant to happen, and it's one of the reasons our world is falling. I understand that very well. We were meant to be, you know have our own homes, do, you know, jobs, not to be paying attention to, to all these distractions. How do you expect to excel in your life ever? Um, and so, for, you know, for that reason, here I am, I'm, I'm doing this. No, I'm not trying to show off or anything, but look, um, and I never knew I could do that type of thing. I'm looking at the top here. I'm not done that part, but I've never done this before. And uh, I just felt like trying to make like a pose for a table. And if I would have, if I wouldn't have pulled social media away and list all, all the news and stuff, I would have never gotten to that. And that makes me feel good. And if you're physically and mentally ill like myself, that won't do you any favors. There was roughly 1,200 soldiers dying per day for two years in Ukraine uh, alone, just the Ukraine. And uh, listening to all of it did nothing for me. Pardon, I got to take a little break here. I'm going to read something and I'm going to do something.
I bought a, a new computer, but I don't have it yet. It's refurbished actually, actually. And it's one thing when you make a video, you know, you're trying to, you know, make it, you know, like what you have your face in the corner and, uh, you know, you're, you know, commenting, say you're doing a, like a music video and, you know, you have your, you know, you're doing your commenting for that. It's not nice when there's a lag and, and it's skipping and all that type of stuff. Who's going to watch that, right? So that's why. I'd, uh, <laughs> this is a gallbladder attack. right through my back, up my shoulder. Can't tell you how many I've had of these. Hundreds of them, if not thousands. And Jesus went out and departed from the temple and his disciples came to him to show him the buildings of the temple. And Jesus said to them, do you not see all these things? Verily I say to you, there shall not be uh, left one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. And of course, this is Matthew 24. And as, as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him privately saying, Tell us, when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming in the end of the world? And Jesus said uh, unto them, Take heed that no man deceives you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am the Christ. And that's happening right now, many places and uh, shall deceive many. And you shall hear wars and rumors of wars. See that you not be troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Don't be troubled. Um, well, that's it for the video. And I'm just, I wanna do one thing actually um, first. Just give me a sec. I just wanna show you I just want to show you the way the news is, okay? And my news ticker on this one, this is a different computer. Remember my other one got locked out and I just shut that one down. I'm back in, but this one's much quicker. The news tickers are different. I found the news ticker on that one had worse stories. Don't ask me how, but just did. Let's take a look at this and see what the news stories are. Okay, so I'm on it. So the U.S. has shot down 24 Yemen, Yemen Houthi missiles, drones. That would be a top news story for, you know, that would be the yearly story more than four years ago. Now let's look through this. Massive waves in Victoria. Uh, like on my other ticker, all of them were really bad. All of them. How do I... Hezbollah says um, hits Israeli base. Says it doesn't want a wider war. We're hitting your base, but we don't want a wider war. France appoints first openly gay prime minister. Yeah, see, every story was bad on the other one. I don't, I uh, can't even move the story. The key symptoms to look out for is new COVID variant sweeps the UK. You know, I'm just going to stop there. And I just want to remind you of something. Who do you think, you know, you see all the stories, right? You go, you look at the ticker. Trust me, the, um, my other computer, they were really bad. Every single one of the stories. Where do you think these news stories are coming from? Like, like what I just read there sweeps the UK, right? Um, you have to think of who is paying for the media. It's, it's people like 
it's people like Bill Gates who give $400 million to, to uh, I don't know what it is, like 10 different media companies. And I'm going to end it here. I'm very uncomfortable. So, um, hey, I try. <laughs> I try. Um, I shouldn't do my videos while I'm having literally gallbladder attack. But um, anyways, when I get this computer, I'm going to set it up and I'm going to do my videos and do commentaries. I hope maybe some of you can send me stuff if that you want me to do commentaries on. Um, and I want to get good at it. And uh, and so this computer that I'm buying, um, it's, it's it's got like 32 gig 32 gig RAM, whatever, you know, and uh, two terabytes. Very quick uh, professional computer. So anyways, God bless. Thanks for watching this.